Hi there, it's Mike and Kyra here in the Malaysian capital, Kuala Lumpur. Today, we're going to share with you four of the best vegan restaurants in one of our favourite cities in the world. In fourth place is Hijau. Located just off Chinatown is the background marketplace, and inside are several little eateries. One of these eateries is Hijau, which has a fully vegan Malay Indo fusion menu. When you order, you get a buzzer, which will vibrate when your food is ready for collection. I have a nasi goreng nenek. Although this is technically a breakfast dish, it made for a great evening meal tea. It was hearty and filling and served with their signature air fried tofu, which had a mesmerizingly soft center with a crisp outside. Meanwhile, I have the Kuei Tiao Goreng. Bursting with flavor, this noodle dish was a little bit too intense for me, but I very much enjoyed all the textures. Overall, this place wasn't 100% for us, but we'd still recommend you pop by if you're in the area, as the items on their wider menu looked really impressive. It was also a load of fun feeling edgy and cool eating in the background marketplace. The Hungry Tape here is in third place. This super cute vegetarian vegan cafe also doubles up as a cocktail bar. We loved the vibe inside. The music and the neon signs were fun and funky. You might recognize this place if you've already seen our previous video, where we tried Roti Chennai. If you haven't, feel free to tap the link appearing in the corner of your screen now. Aside from the absolute scrumptiousness of their Roti Chennai, which I absolutely loved by the way, we ordered some oyster mushroom based fried chicken and some sweet potato fried tea. The smock fried chicken was really impressive, but also really filling. It was so tasty that I could have eaten it forever. The sweet potato fries were sweet and potatoey. They were seasoned with a plant-based parmesan, which added that extra flavor. I also loved the dips they gave us too. The food looked great and it tasted great too. We didn't get to try their cocktails, but they looked incredible. And the atmosphere alone is well worth the visit. The number two spot goes to Sala. This Mexican style entirely vegan food store, located close to the Petronas Towers, is really something special. They have a wide ranging menu of different Mexican dishes, from burritos to burgers to tacos. I had the pulled jack burrito. The jackfruit was tender and a good impersonation of beef. The burrito had everything you'd want with rice, beans and delicious sauces. It was really satisfying and not overly filling like some burritos can be. The chicken ranch wrap caught my eye. I was so glad I tried it. It was delicious with a firm and tasty air fried mock chicken. The ranch sauce and veggies mixed in some delicious textures and the barbecue dip was a perfect contrast. We also tried this vegan chicken popcorn. And oh my God, the texture and flavor were incredible. The batter was so flavorsome and the nacho cheese sauce added extra yum. The price was a little high, but it looked and tasted great. The only criticism would be the lack of seating. But on a sunny day, heading to a nearby park to eat salads food sounds perfect to me. And in first place is Mint House. Now we loved Mint House. It's located in the Wisma Causeway Center on the top floor in the far corner. But once you've navigated that maze, they'll provide you with a fully vegan and wide ranging menu. This place has lots of comfortable seating and great views from the windows. Again, you might recognize this one from a previous video. So if you haven't seen it, there's another link popping up in the corner now. We tried nasi lemak, the national dish of Malaysia. This one came with poppadoms, cucumber, roasted peanuts, crispy mushrooms, sambal, and a delicious mushroom and potato curry. Whoa, that curry really was something. The whole dish was amazing too. I really loved the flavors, I really loved the fragrance, and I really loved the fun of it all. All in all, we were big fans of this place, and it's just a shame we didn't get to try the other items on the menu. The staff were lovely too and deserve a shout out. The food looked and tasted incredible, and the price was super cheap. Oh, and I'm not going to let you sign this one off, Kyra, without mentioning maybe the best smoothie I've had in my entire life. Do not miss it next time you're in KL. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't already know, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and have a website where you can read an extended blog on this topic. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and check out our channel. We have lots more like this and even more in the pipeline.